G'day, uh, my name's Simon Jones, Jonesy, uh, lead s &C here at the, uh, the Highlanders Super Rugby side, bottom of New Zealand, great place to be. Really enjoying our new stat system, the ease of setup with the live feed for the iPad has been really reliable, nice quick setup with its own Wi-Fi issue, the iPad interface is easy to use. have really enjoyed too that the iPad download to the download metrics have been really similar which is great, so uh, it's really helping drive the accountability and real time feedback for our team which has been choice. We still haven't quite hit our green with that man, so when you catch your breath, just a little bit of a wind out, just want to make sure we hit sort of 90% of our sprint speed. We've been able to set some thresholds uh, based off both game data and also training data and for different positions uh, we have them wanting to achieve obviously some different metrics so a key one I look for for our backs for instance is, is have they reached a certain speed threshold just uh, protective for our hamstrings but also good for performance uh, so for instance with our return to play for our injured players you know we have some really great benchmarks and, and targets they need to hit so Denny here a uh, bit of a power and speed weapon unfortunately had a hamstring strain but uh, he's hopefully returning to training next week so one of the things we're looking at today at how we track with Matt's speed read that number there for me 35.6 and what was your previous top speed on there 33.9 sweet so as we can see mate the guys come back in better nick but what's awesome is we can give this immediate feedback and as he's training he can get a little bit of you know real-time motivation but also as us just make sure we're really onto it with where he needs to be so next week based on what denny's achieved today it was one of our final tests he'll be uh, he'll be back in the mix next week for selection and then also yeah we've just been looking at to give our coaches real feedback so we have certain ball and play targets set at a certain percentage and that's how we determine how our how one intense training is for the week so really uh, easy functions to be able to take that uh, and give that that uh, information live to the coaches as they need it throughout training we have the fixed infrastructure uh, which is really exciting here in the stadium so that's been fantastic just to ensure that our data once in here is, is you know really accurate seen great benefit in, in really the players education around how they achieve their metrics so everyone has obviously a different speed they have different acceleration abilities so even within say a prop position for instance you can start you know educating guys on, on how they best achieve their work and therefore it's easier to sort of encourage them and educate them on on what they need to do to improve their work rates um, that's really helped with uh, with player accountability player interest because they can come and see exactly what they're doing uh, and having individualised targets which are set to you know their own position, their own individual speed thresholds as well, just helps their buy-in for them to understand you know how they're achieving their performance uh, and also where they need to do to, to improve that work rate and to get better. So having that individuality, um, the ease of how that's viewed on both the iPad and the reports that can be created uh, has really sort of I guess grown the player interest in those numbers and brought those to life a little bit more rather than being so coach driven. It's now a little bit more led by the players which has been great.